How you doing, everybody? Well, as you can hear, I got the flu. It sucks. It sucks big time. Anyway, I thought I'd just do a video and talk about the flu and other random thoughts. Right? You know, I was thinking, you know, here we are. You know, that bird is still on that tree. It's not a bird. Hi, Chuck. How you doing? What are you doing there, kiddo? Not too close, you don't want to get this cold. She's not, she not going to get it. Yeah. The worst part is about the flu. Like, you fear you stage it, though, right? There's the achiness and the, all the crap you get with it, right? The headache, the muscle aches, all that crap. Then there's the coughing, right? right? And, I, and then comes the sinus part. This is the worst part for me. My nose is blocked right up, right? It really does suck. I mean, it does suck, the big one. But, you know, I'm going to talk, you know, that's, you know, that's the flu. Uh, I, you know, I think I'm on the mend, right? I think I've hit the peak, and, uh, you know, I get better from here on in. So, I don't want anybody crying. <laughs> right? Uh, yeah, you've, do thinking, you've done enough crying of your own. I've done enough crying. This eye keeps running, right? Right. <laughs> this 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 side of my nose is the worst one, right? And I'll get there and I'll start, and then then the eye runs, and then the nose runs, and then all of a sudden you'll sneeze and you got bubbles of snot coming out your nose. <laughs> it's a real joy, right? Uh, yeah. And then your laughter is fucked up. Uh, yeah, oh uh, yeah, you can't laugh right. You can't <laughs> I can't laugh properly still. But, uh, yeah, we were talking last night about the trail stop is a, is a <laughs> takeout restaurant. We were down there one day and uh, they have, uh, in the summertime, you get a lot of flies. In the it, it's a screen tent. And it was a screen tent. They had a, they had a, 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 a picnic table in the screen tent, right? The owners thought it was a really good idea. Yeah, we out. had yard sales there. Yeah. And we'd have yard yeah. sales there and stuff. Not in the screen tent. Not in the screen tent, but we'd have yard sales. We were down there this day, and I said, you know what that table in, in the screen tent is calling out for? And she said, I don't know what. I said, a condom. So, next time we were down, we brought a condom. Put a little bit of milk in it. And went laid it on the on the picnic table, and uh, you know we were kind of hoping they'd discover it, but they didn't discover it for a few days, and we happened to be there when they did. There's a guy there, Tony. He used to sell at this little yard sale, probably out the yard sale they did go, and uh, he died a couple years ago. Uh, no, it's just over a year ago. Yeah. Anyway, the owner of it, she discovered the condom, and she goes, what's that? Tony's right being right nosy, he goes, I don't know. And she goes, look at that, and it's a condom. She picked it up in her fingers, and she chased them. And there, you know, here, here you got to leave these 50-somethings that are sort of like, you know, they're not running really well, right? And then she flings it, and it lands on her shoulder, and they're giggling like little... 14 year old girl, right? And it was like, I, I, I don't And then you asked him if it was used. Yeah, and I said, is that used? She said she didn't even look. Yeah, she didn't look. She just grabbed it and run with it, right? <laughs> and uh, it, was, it, was, it was worth the price of a condom just to see that, uh, you know. But that's, you know, that's one random thing that we were talking about. And, uh, and, uh, and Cody's fashion said, And, uh, but anyway, uh... What are you going through, Mutt? What are you filming the dog for? Uh, anyway, I was thinking, you know, there's how we see ourselves and how we really are, right? And, you know, I see myself as John Wayne. But in reality, I'm more like Buddy Hackett, right? 
you know, uh, you can vote on that down below and say, no, no, we won't hear him. It's, it's the Duke all the way. That's what I want to hear. But I'll probably get, no, you look a lot like Buddy Hack. Or um, David Nivens. David Nivens. There, there's somebody who keeps telling you you look like David Nivens. Ah, oh, that bastard. Here's what happened. This was back in... <laughs> this is 1975. I walk into the audience room. And the sergeant goes, Cal? Oh my god, it's David Nivens. And I went, what? And the warrant officer goes, my god, it is David Nivens. And the lieutenant's there, and he's going, yes, you look like David Niven. And I'm, I'm going, uh, you know, I got a mustache in those days, and a, a, you know, and a, you know, whatever, right? And I'm feeling kind of really good about it, right? So, they kept saying, you look like David Niven. So, a couple of years go by, I'm watching reruns of Bilko. And I don't, I don't know the, the little short, fat guy in the, in the, in the Bill Crow crew. He was like, really, funky, you know, like, er, I don't know, he's a goober or something like that. I don't know what his name was. He's this short, little, ugly man. Yeah, short, little, ugly guy. Anyway, Bill Crow had some scheme, and he walks into the orderly room. <coughs> <coughs> and Bill Crow goes, oh, my God, it's David Niven. And he's going, and I thought, those sons of bitch bastards. They'd seen an episode of Bilko with that David Niven thing, and so somebody has posted on some of my videos. My God, you look just like David Niven. Now I don't know who the son of a bitch is. <laughs> I know, him, but I don't know which one it is. Right? If I ever catch them. <laughs> The John Wayne is going to come out, right? <laughs> but I've seen that a couple of times. My God, you look just like David Niven in, in various uh, 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 comments posted on my video. Just a couple of them, right? But, uh, yeah. That's hilarious. Yeah, those bastards have actually had me believe that I look like David Niven, and I thought, I don't look like David Niven. But, then again, you know, who knows? But, uh, right, yeah, now it, get up in the it's, chair. It's, it's the, uh, the random thing. Anyway, I just wanted to say, uh, you know, I'm still alive. Well, this blues will be going on in a couple of weeks. There's nothing you can do about it. You just gotta ride it out. And uh, I should be okay in a couple of days. Dog. This is the best I felt for a few days. Anyway, till the next time.